Now traditionally, dodging and burning goes all the way back to the film photography days, where photographers would control the amount of light that would hit their prints, and that would darken the shadows or maybe even lighten the certain parts of the image, and they called and that was referenced as dodging and burning. Nowadays, with Lightroom, we have the ability to use brushes and luminance range mask tools in order to dodge and burn with a simple click of the button. And so today I'm gonna be, you know, that sounds really complicated. I've seen all these other YouTube videos mm -hmm. on how to dodge and burn. It just, yeah. it just doesn't seem like it's for me. I just end up getting all no, these mushy it's not, images. It's not, and it's not that complicated. You know, no, and then not. I'm not really good at drawing. Yeah, yeah, no, I failed out of art school. They really have all this debt. Now my parents have abandoned me and it's just, it's just been a really- Could you just watch the tutorial? Jeez. What's with all the hostility? Gosh. I'm sorry I yelled. It's okay. You know, I've been dieting recently and you know, I just get really cranky very easily. I'm sorry I yelled again. Are you hungry? Do you want something yeah. to eat? Yeah, Jeez. a water burger with cheese. And a large Diet Coke, please. Water burger with cheese. I'll get you a large. All right, thanks. I promise I'll watch the tutorial. Let's start the tutorial. Alrighty, well I hope you liked that little intro. It actually takes a lot longer to film and edit together than I had thought. And, you know, it's a first attempt, so, you know, what the heck. Alrighty, so this is Dodge and Burn for Lazy People. Uh, this is going to be a super quick tutorial and it hopefully helps you out with your images. So the first thing that I do is we're going to do this landscape type shot. And what I do is I adjust my exposure and then I adjust all my highlight shadows and everything first. Then once I have my image edited the way that I want, we're going to go to our Dodge Exposure tool and we're going to make our brush really big and we're going to paint in the entire image. Now I know this doesn't make sense right now. If you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial on how to do this, there's plenty of other videos that'll take 20 minutes to show you what I'm doing. But for now, just kind of follow the steps and it's all gonna make sense. All right, so scroll down and we're gonna go to that range mask and we're gonna click on it and we're gonna click luminance. And then we're going to go to our range and we're gonna drag the bottom and up. And what this is doing is now our exposure that we just added is only gonna affect the bright part of the image. And you can control it by however much you want. You can either control like the very, very bright, like 75% or 50%, whatever you want. You know, you're the artist here. Alrighty, so now I've adjusted that part. Now we're gonna go to our burn brush and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna paint the entire image with the burn brush. Alrighty, and looks like we're done there, good. Alrighty, so once we're done painting with the burn brush on our entire image, we're gonna scroll down to our range mask and we're gonna click and click luminance. And now this time, instead of doing the bottom end, we're gonna drag the top end and we're gonna drag it down. So what this is doing now is that our burn brush that we added is only gonna affect the dark parts of the image by doing that. Alrighty, so we're done and let's take a look. We're just gonna do a quick before and after. Let's see, before, after. And you know, it's a subtle difference, but it just really adds a little pop to your images. And the best part about it is that it only took us like a whole minute to do it. I mean, you could spend hours dodging and burning in Photoshop if you want, but if you want to do something really quick right before you upload something to Instagram, by all means, this is the thing that I do to just add that little bit of pop to my images. Alrighty, so let's see how this works on skin and on portraits. And now this is Victoria, this is my sister, and she is always willing to model for me. So Victoria, if you're watching this, thank you so much for always putting up with me. Alrighty, so you already know the drill. So we're gonna go to our brush, we're gonna get burn exposure, and we're gonna paint with the burn exposure brush on Victoria's face and on her skin. Now I'm doing kind of a sloppy job, but just for the purpose of the tutorial, but when you're doing your own images, obviously you would take just a little bit more time and be a little bit more careful. Alrighty, so the same thing, we're gonna go to our range mask and we're gonna click, and we're gonna click on luminance, and now we're just going to drag that top end down to only affect the bottom parts of the image. So for me, 23, uh, well, let's see, 42 looks pretty good right there. All right, so let's add the dodge brush now so we can brighten up those highlights. Okay, hit dodge, and now again, same thing painting with the dodge brush on the face and on the skin.
Again, I'm just doing a really quick rough job, just real quick, I'm just painting the exposure brush. Nothing crazy, just for the tutorial. Anyways, with the luminance mask, we're gonna drag the bottom end up now. Again, this is only gonna affect our bright parts of the image now. And let's do right about 80. Awesome. Again, this is just a rough edit. Obviously, we would take more time when we're editing our portraits. Anyway, so let's show you the before and after. So before and after. Before, after, before, after. And you see it just adds a little bit of pop to the highlights and just adds that contrast to the face that's really pleasant. All right, well, now that you know how to dodge and burn, hopefully you can use this really quick edits for like Instagram, Facebook, or if you wanna just make your image pop just a tad little bit more, um, you can use these tips that I've showed you in the video and put that into your own work. Anyways, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to comment down below on something you wanna see next. Anyways, my name is Brandon. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.